Today I went to put together a outfit and I kind of was like looking through my clothing and realizing so many different tips and hacks and tricks that I use to elevate sort of like such simple looks that are honestly just like a free way to do it, like a free method. And we all love a good free method. I know we do here. This is going to be a video encompassing tons of different hacks, tons of different tips, tons of different tricks on how to just upgrade your style, upgrade your wardrobe without having to spend any money at all. It's also gonna be super casual. I hope you guys like this sort of style format. It's kind of inspired by Best Dressed. I'm obsessed with her channel right now. Like, if you see this girl, hello. And I just love the concept of just like doing this, like look at my outfit and then like, I'm talking to you again. Like, you know what I mean? I even bought a whole new microphone setup for this video. So I'll be invoicing you, girl. Found it. And this is my current phone case, completely DIY'd from Lone Fox. Check that out. Stars and Kim Kardashian emojis. Just dive on into these hacks really bad. So the first thing I want to talk about is just simple bits of layering. So we all have multiple pieces of clothing in our wardrobe, or at least I hope all of us have a couple pieces of clothing in our wardrobe. Small, tiny little details that you can add to each outfit that just kind of increase the overall look of it, even if you don't think it would. So here we have some simple pieces. I have just a simple white t-shirt. This is from Zara, kind of creased, kind of wrinkled, needs to be steamed. And then I also, this is actually from Zara too, just a little Zara knit sweater here. There's probably going to be glimpses of me naked throughout this video. White t-shirt is on, and now let's throw on the sweater. So this right here is kind of what I was talking about. So much more interesting than just a sweater. Like you have a little bit of that white band here and not to mention if you have more of a longer t-shirt on the bottom side, you kind of get that uh, like layered look as well, which instantly elevates the look. And let's throw a jacket on this just to kind of give it that full on kabang factor. This jacket here, this is just an Acne Studios denim jacket. Obsessed with this jacket. Little hack also, my mom taught me this. I think a lot of people probably know this. When you put on jackets, do not just put your arm in there hold your sleeve and then put it in like then when you get to the bottom your sleeves there i hope a lot of you guys didn't know that already because i would feel stupid but look at this there we go chic fresh like i actually love this i also have this really really cool reclaimed vintage shirt from asos which i am obsessed with this shirt look at that like the graphics on this are so striking i think it's super fun and a little artsy fartsy right now it just kind of looks like a I mean, it looks like a layered look, but at the same time, I think it kind of looks a little bit sloppy. So all I'm gonna do is just tuck everything in to the pants. Just adding a super simple belt here to sort of give this look or this layering kind of style a purpose. And this guy's kind of just like a super easy way to style up some simple pieces, a button down and a t-shirt, but you style them in a different way. Uh, you can even pull one side out and sort of have it be like in a more asymmetrical look like this, which I do a lot because I think it adds, again, more of that elevated image to your look. Let's move on to my next little hack here. And this is actually going to be just kind of reinventing and recreating older pieces that you maybe don't want to style anymore. This is an older um, H&M um, just little kind of flannel button-down shirt, which I really really like and there's a brand I've been loving lately It's called R13 denim and um, I don't know They just have really really cool very edgy kind of like grungy pieces I've kind of been inspired by those lately So what I'm gonna do is actually just give this a raw hem just cut off the hemline So let's just see if I can do this while I'm on my Knees that kind of sounded inappropriate. All I'm gonna do is just cut right Above that seam line and I know a lot of you guys are like, oh my gosh, you're ruining your piece No, I'm not I'm gonna wear it more like this I know that for sure So definitely think about doing this with your pants as well because I have reinvented so many pairs of jeans Just by kind of like cuffing them and giving them a raw edge at the bottom I've also done that with a lot of pants I've ordered online where they kind of like fit on the top section But they were too long and I didn't want to cuff them So I just cut the hemline off and made them into a raw edge there we go, the hem is completely cut now, and then I'm just gonna kind of fray it a little bit. The best way to get a frayed edge looking really on point is just to put it in the washing machine and then the dryer. So this is what's just the raw edge on there, which looks really nice, and if you're into this look, definitely go for it. I wanted to show it to you guys so you guys can like kind of get an idea of what it looks like. But you can also take this flannel and put it to about this length here, which I think is going to really give it more of a high fashion, like you bought this on an expensive website and it cost you $648, like it wasn't $10. $10.99 at H&M, which is what I paid for this. I'm just gonna create a little snip there to start it. The shirt is laid down flat and let's give it a snippity snip. Goodbye. Hello, new shirt. Yes, okay, let's, let's check out what this looks like on. Oh yes, this is 
the tea. This looks actually the best, like exactly what I wanted. I absolutely love this. Like this looks so good. I think with this crop jacket, the long sleeve looks amazing just because it sort of balances out the cropping. But let's just say that your piece was a little bit more oversized. How to easily add a bit more of like a fit element to it would be to simply roll up the sleeves. And I do have a method for rolling up the sleeves that I love. I'm on my bad side actually. I need to move to this side. The sleeve is here. Pull it back on itself like so. This will be where that cuff sort of ends. Take this extra fabric here and start to roll it. So roll it up here. I do about two rolls per. So you're gonna do one more roll. And then you have the best, most chic cuff ever. Things like that. And you can do this with jackets too if you have more lightweight jackets. Just roll up the sleeve. It can definitely give it a new and fresh element. I'm wearing an oversized boxy tee here, which is definitely a look for some people. Like, I would actually rock this look kind of, um, I don't know, every single day if I wanted to. But there's also times when I just want a little bit more fit. Like, I really want to show off my... I don't really know what I want to show off. I grabbed a graphic tee for my wardrobe and I'm hiding my pasty body with it. But I'm going to show you guys how I like to cuff the sleeves and tuck in the bottom. So you can wear a t-shirt like this, slip it on, you're good to go. But there are tiny bits of the styling that you can do to them, which I think just makes it look more attractive and fits you a lot better. If I'm wearing a t-shirt by itself or just a like a short sleeve button down shirt, I'll always do this. I just slip it over like that and then I'll do like maybe one to two more. Here are the cuffed sleeves. And yes, this is exactly what I do to all my t-shirts. All my button down shirts, I think it looks amazing. And then you can also just do like a simple little half tuck in a t-shirt. That's what I do almost every time I wear a tee. I'll just tuck it a little bit in the front here. So just pick it. I'll just take it, push it down right in the front, leave everything else sort of hanging. And it just looks like you put more effort into your look. Like you styled it a little bit more. And I think that it looks super clean, super fresh, and also really attractive. I like when guys wear this. Kind of good and fresh and kind of fun and kind of hot at the same time. I'm scared. And the final one in this section is just cuffing your pants. So I have a pair of jeans here. These jeans are actually long. So if I was to wear them with like a sneaker, I would definitely cuff them. So I like to just do a little roll here. One and two. That's probably what I would do on this jean. Super simple. If you do have a wider leg jean, there is a tip that I love doing, which I will show you right now. And that is to take your pants, this little piece right here. You're going to take that little flap of fabric, pull it on the inside and then cuff it at least like two to three times. That's a great way to get like more of a tighter fit if your jeans are quite wide, which I used to do all the time, but now I actually know how to buy pants that fit me, so thank God. Next up is one that I've definitely been doing a lot of lately, and that is coordinating colors because I think that when your outfits have like a little bit of like coordination to them, which I used to hate coordinating outfits, like my mom would be like, why aren't you wearing a red shirt with your red shoe? And I'm like, that's gross, ew. But now I kind of like it because I think it makes your look just a little bit more expensive looking. This is a shirt I love from ASOS. It is huge, as you can see. I've cuffed the sleeve to give it a bit more shape and a little bit more form to my body because if I don't, then I look like I'm drowning in it. And something else I do on this shirt, which I think is kind of fun, is I kind of asymmetrically button it because it's already huge, so why not make it look crazy at the same time? Just more fun than like a normal button, just a bit more stylized. And then what I'm gonna do is just slip on a pair of red boots, which I know not everyone has a good pair of red boots in their wardrobe, and I don't even know if these will go on without socks. I think I broke my nail. Pants are definitely going over these boots to give sort of that YSL vibe. Alrighty, so I have on the look, fully coordinated. We have the red on top and we have the red on bottom with just like a simple monochrome in between. You don't have to throw in any crazy color in between if you just want to stick to one color. That just sort of like makes the outfit sort of vibe and cohesively look perfect together. But yeah, this doesn't have to be expensive at all. Just pull something from your wardrobe um, and you can also just pull colors from individual pieces. Also grab two jackets here that I kind of want to show and give examples of how you can also make these look really cool and more put together. So this is just like a Supreme jacket, really fun. I love this jacket, I haven't even worn it yet, but it's like a navy on the outside, red on the inside with the red and white Supreme. So for this look, I would definitely focus on more of like a red and white base. So maybe like the red boots I'm wearing here, a red pair of sneakers, even a white sneaker, um, like black jeans and maybe a white top. Just pull elements from the pieces. If you know how to work with colors, you can definitely go ahead and implement more colors. But if you don't, because it's kind of challenging, colors are can be hard. Uh, it can make your look look kind of sloppy. So I think if you just pull from the pieces, here's another jacket here. This is from the Couples. 
an amazing leather jacket, but as you can see here in the top sections, it has bits of gold and bits of red. So for this outfit, maybe I would style it with gold jewelry just to sort of pull that gold vibe in and maybe pair it with the same red boots I have here or a red t-shirt underneath or just like a red belt, something that just pulls pops from the actual garment. And that way you get a fully coordinated look without having to spend any money on additional pieces. Hmm. <laughs> and that pretty much wraps up today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it and definitely give it a thumbs up if you did. I hope you gained some knowledge from this video. Um, I know that when I watch these videos from other people, it's just little tiny tips and tricks that you can keep in the back of your head next time you're wearing an outfit that can maybe bring your outfit to the next level. Especially in the morning time when you don't really want to like think about your look, like just adding one or two of these little tips to your look can instantly just bring it to the next level, which is a plus in my book, a plus in your book, a plus in everyone's book that probably sees you on the street. Definitely subscribe to my channel for more videos though. I post men's fashion videos here every single week and I have a second channel that's all home decor and DIY focused, which I will link below as well. But without further ado, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I'll catch you next time. Bye.